Let's have example number 12. In how many ways can four boys and three girls be arranged in a row if there are no restrictions? If there are no restrictions. So that, I think that's the first question. And first restriction. <laughs> boys and girls must be seated alternately. And boys must be seated together. And letter C, two students insist on sitting together. And then letter D, two students refuse to sit together. Okay, let's answer this. In how many ways can four boys and three girls be arranged in a row if there are no restrictions? If there will be no restrictions, let's have this 12 more now. If there will be no restrictions, and then, pwedeng kahit ano. So, it's like arranging seven, seven students. Tama Kasi four plus three. So, If there will be no restrictions, then it's just 7 factorial ways. 7 factorial is, let's confirm, 7 factorial, I think it's 5,040. Yeah, it's 5,040. 5,040 ways to arrange 4 and 3. Letter A. Boys and girls must be seated alternately. Now, since boys and girls... Mas madami yung boys, no? Big seven, we have to seat the girls in between the boys. So, if you have a boy, a boy, a boy, and another boy, then the girls must be seated, then the girls must be seated in between. A girl and a girl. Hmm. So, let's first arrange the boys. The boys can be seated in, oh, let's use this one. The boys can be seated in four, Siyempre, dahil naiupo mo na yung isang boy, three ka na lang dito sa isa, two, and then one. Yung girls naman, um, iupo natin yung first girl. We can do that in three ways. And then, since naiupo mo na yung isa dito, we have two, and then one. Okay. So, all we have to do is to multiply everyone. Four times, three times, three times, two times, two times, one times, one. If you multiply that, the answer is, anong sagot dito? 4 times 3 times 3 times 2 times 2, 144. 144 ways. Now, you can also think of this as, since paupoin mo yung 4 boys, you can do that in 4 factorial ways. And then paupoin mo yung mga girls, you can do that in 3 factorial ways. And 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2, that's 24. 24 times 6, which is 144. Okay, so there are 144 ways to arrange the boys and girls if they want to be seated alternately. And for letter B, boys wanted to be seated together. So, exhibit boys, 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 boys. Igu group natin si last one. And then we have the girl, the girl, and the girl. That's para mga code to G1, G2, jaka G3. To denote na magkakaiba sila. As well as B1, B2, B3, no? So, in short, kung igugroup natin as one itong mga boys, so we are arranging how many objects? We have one, two, three, four. So, since we are arranging four objects na lang, we can do that in four factorial ways. Yung four objects. But take note, yung mga boys mo, inside them, you can also arrange them in four factorial ways kasi apat sila. So, it's four factorial times four factorial. So again, what's 4 factorial times 4 factorial? We have 4 factorial times 4 factorial. So the answer is 576. So you can do that in 576 ways. Do not forget, ah, kapag ginurupo mo itong mga boys because they want to be seated together, sa loob nila may arrangement pa rin sila. Okay? So letter C, two students in seat on sitting together. Walang restrictions na, no? It depends kung, boys, kung boy or girl yun. So, hindi na natin consider kung uh, boy or girl yung magkatabi or girl or boy yung magkatabi. Or parehas boys. Basta, there are seven students. So, let's just, let's put the problem in that way para hindi na masyadong komplikado. There will be seven students tapos dalawa ay gustong mag katabi sila. So, let's call the students as A, B, C, D, E, F, ilan ba ito? G ba, no? Hanggang G. 
Okay. Tapos yung dalawang oh, dalawang students, gusto nila magkatabi sila. Mm-hmm. So, igugrupo natin tong A at B. Ibig sabihin, we have how many arrange how many objects to arrange? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have 6 objects to arrange which we can do that in 6 factorial ways. But do not forget, yung ginurupo mong dalawa ay meron pang arrangement within them which can be done into factorial ways. Again, sa nanggaling into factorial, nanggaling siya dito sa arrangement nitong dalawang gustong magkatabi sila. Kasi they can be seated as AB or pwede rin namang BA. So 6 factorial times 2 factorial times 2 factorial. So there are 1,444. And 1,440 ways of doing that if two students insist on sitting together. That's for letter C. Now, for letter D, two students refuse. Ayaw naman nilang magtabi. So I will leave this question to everybody. Please comment down below if you know the answer for letter D. Nasolve na natin yung magkatabi sila. But this time, I want you to solve how many different ways na yung dalawang sudyante na yun ay ayaw nilang magkatabi. Okay, please do not forget to comment down below.